Okay, guys, I'm going to try to do a quick video real quick. Um, something showed up on my feed, and I wanted to cover it. Um, so there was a story um, about a month ago about a woman who was uh, uh, caught doing something on the beach. I'm not sure if you saw it or not. Um, uh, I want to play this video and then talk to you a little bit while it plays. So... So, this is in Georgia. Georgia is a very conservative state. Um, and of course, you can see the title there, so you kind of cats out of the bag. But um, so this woman, she um, was at this establishment and got um, questioned by the police. Yep. What's your name, ma'am? Chris. Chris. Do you have right. your ID on you? Chris. Yeah, can I ask what the problem is? All right, so someone called us. We got multiple calls about you. What? About something pertaining. Well, they said multiple calls. Were you what? supposed to be, were you doing something you weren't supposed to be doing? What? Like, what, what were you doing on the beach? Like, prior to coming here? Uh, prior to coming here? Were you at the beach at some point in time? So this should be a lesson to people. Um, please come to talk to you. Um, you don't have to talk to them. Um, she, uh, uh, she She's going to self-incriminate here, but... Okay, I don't understand. There was nobody... I was just sitting on my tail. Nobody was around me. Okay, and you were over at the beach? Like, I was, I was near the water. Near the water? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, like I said, uh, someone called. And they so she knows what she did, but um, actually the second time watching this, something else came up that I thought was interesting, too. They saw you doing something you weren't supposed I didn't, to be doing. No, no that's, that's not true. Uh, I, okay, look. Okay, so she denies it at first. Is this something that my phone should be off for or on off for? Hey, you can whatever you want to do. It's your right. If you want to record this conversation, you can. But we are also recording, so, so you know. Okay, can you, can you show, I mean, who, who did I? I didn't notice the first time I saw this either, the, the huge cross on her, too. Um, that's just interesting. I don't understand. What did I do? What did I do? So apparently you were masturbating on the beach. Uh, who saw that? I mean, a couple people. No, they didn't. That's, that's not true. You know, why would they call us that? Okay, because I was... Okay, so this that next answer is actually a little more interesting and would have a little more traction. Um, I'm sure this is going to come out, and I got another video to play after this, but check out what she says. By myself. Um, now, I will tell you this. The only way that somebody would have called you is if it was a military operation or if I can do this. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Okay, so. Well, what she's probably thinking is no one saw her except maybe someone who was watching on a satellite. Um, well, I'll keep going. Nobody, nobody was around. Who, it was it an anonymous call? Is yeah. this one of my buddies? Okay, yeah. one of my buddies. Yeah, it's, it's not one of your buddies. It's, it's a family. Okay, look, let me sh right, let me show you what I did. Okay. Okay. Is there anything in the bag? No. Because right, if I look through, I mean, if you can open it, and can I see the contents inside the bag? Yes. Okay. I don't. I don't. Never consent to a search. I mean, I think for the officer's safety, they can probably do that during an arrest, but. I don't really understand what y'all are. We're, we're just here because someone called and we're this, very concerned. Okay. This is really highly offensive to me. I, I got it. I got it. Okay, it's offensive to her. This is this is kind of what bothered me a little bit. Okay. Um, let's set aside, um, you know, the uh, ethics or whatever you call it about masturbating, right? But she's on a public beach and <clears throat> she's saying she's offended. Um, so we'll keep going. And that's why I'm trying to figure it's it a, out. It's my yeah. vibrator, but I just put it in my, I was sitting on the beach and I just, just, okay. okay do I need, do I get a ticket? <laughs> so, so 
you did have a vibrator. I, listen, I was sitting on the water like this, and I just put it in there, and it was covered up, and I just had an orgasm. I'm sorry. I was stressed out. I Is got that you. A... Okay. Just hang tight for me. I'm sorry. Listen, you saw me. I was in the okay. water. Okay, so what, if this is enough. So at first she said she was near the water. Now she's saying she's in the water. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, um, if a family does see this, um, it's going to be problematic. And, you know, that the laws, especially in a conservative state like Georgia. Um, so they go about and arrest her. Um, I'm not going to show all that. They do, you know, they have to walk her through the restaurant. So I want you to think about how you feel about this. How do you feel about um, the woman? Uh, she obviously didn't think anyone was seeing her. Um, do you think, uh, I mean, if, if kids saw her, if there were families, um, what would you think about that children seeing her? All right, now look at this story. Was she well, shamed to death over an embarrassing right. incident on a beach? Please, don't do this to me. Are you serious? That's the question swirling after this woman, a realtor, was found dead. Police body cam video starts with cops approaching 35-year-old Christina Revels Glick. We got multiple calls about you. About some cops say witnesses saw her using an adult toy on the beach. I'm sorry, I was stressed out. So one of the things that the justice system in, in the United States provides is, is you can confront your accuser in court. So if... If she were if she were to carry this out, um, if she were to bring this to conclusion in a trial, um, she would be able to uh, know her her accusers, know what happens. Uh, but unfortunately, something else happened. She's put in cuffs. This is ridiculous. What is what am I being arrested for? Indecent exposure. She says she thought she was by herself. A family saw it. They had kids. What? You, there was called. nobody around me. She's led in cuffs through a restaurant near Savannah, Georgia, and taken to a patrol car. The incident was reported on the Smoking Gun website under the headline, Woman Busted for Pleasure Session on Beach. She was said to have gone on a downward spiral following the report and ended her life. According to the coroner's report, the cause of death was gunshot wound to the head. The manner of death is certified as suicide. Neighbor Garrett White let local police into her apartment. He spoke to Les Trent about... Okay, <laughs> maybe the conspiracy-minded among us would, would question whether she did actually take her own life. Um, you know, if, if uh, let's say maybe there was something illegal surveillance going on, and, and I don't know the story, but this is this is eventually going to going to get around. People are going to start talking about this. A lot of people on the left are going to be saying, "Hey, look, these in public these indecent exposure laws um, are wrong." Um, she took you know she took her life because of this. Um, if if I mean it comes down to shame. Uh, if she did feel shame, um, um, why is that? Um, is, is pleasuring yourself, is that something that in public that you should be, the, should, the community says you shouldn't do? Um, what do you think about that? Uh, what do you think about pride parades? That sort of thing. Anyway, I thought I'd bring this to you guys and show you. I'm going to try to upload more frequently when I can, but um, until next time, brain out.